Hello everybody, it's Jan again from Goodness in Every Bite. It is Monday the 30th, March the 30th. And I said I would do a video on how to do what I call my Italian seasoning, which I had put in the last video on, in my bean soup that I made. And then I showed or told you that I was going to do a video on it. So, Okay, now what I do is um you know when you get those pizza boxes when you want to make pizza and it has a little package in there of spices and stuff like that that you never use all of it i just take those packages and i put them in a jar and collect a whole bunch of it so i just put on there pizza mix okay that's what it is and i also i put in basil oregano I know you can't see, which I have to get more. I'm running low on. Um, thyme, garlic powder, and then I put a bit of cumin in it, and some turmeric. And I also put in that I got as a gift from the Gourmet Collection. Okay, this is a lemon dill spices in here. So. I, okay, so what I do is I take my, and you can add as much or as little of whatever spice you like. If you don't like thyme, don't put it in. If you don't like garlic, don't put it in. It's totally up to you. It's your, your spices, okay? But this is what I do. I take a teaspoon. Actually, I'm going to turn the video or the camera down so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Just one second here. And there we go. Okay. Now what I do is I take a teaspoon of the lemon dill, a heaping, everything is all heaping. Okay, one heaping teaspoon. I'll put that over there. Except for the turmeric, I put in a half a teaspoon of that. Just like that. Oops. And then cumin, I put in a teaspoon. Or no, sorry, a half a teaspoon. Okay, just like that. And then the garlic powder, I put in two tablespoons because I love, my husband and I love garlic. So two heaping tablespoons, just like that. Like I said, you can add as much or as little as you want. Make it to your taste. Okay. Time, I put in a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Okay, just like that. Oregano, which I'm going to have to go back to the store, to the bin store, and get some more. Put in a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon. And then my basil, I put in a tablespoon as well. Just like that. Okay. And then my pizza mix, I put in a a heaping tablespoon as well, just like that. All right, just like that. And then you mix it all up. So if you want to make a big batch, you can. If you want to make it like a big jar, uh, you can double the recipe, triple, quadruple, whatever you want. It's totally up to you. Now, I don't put any salt in this or pepper because um, salt and pepper is, some people don't like salt, don't want to take salt. And some people don't like a lot of pepper, which is me. I don't like a lot of pepper. So, and it's to taste anyways. So you mix it all up and then you just put it in a jar, mark it, whatever you want. I just happen to put Italian seasoning. Okay, and you get your funnel. in without making a mess just like that oh look at 
that. Perfect. Just the right amount. Put the lid on it. And there you go. You're good for a while. So I'm going to put the, video, the camera back up. And bear with me. That is how I do my seasoning. Uh, like I said, you can put whatever you want in yours. Uh, more of one thing, less of another. Don't put in something else. It's totally up to you. Whatever flavors you happen to like. So, but as for me, that's what I do for my seasonings. So, if you like this video, click on the like button down below. Share, share, share. Subscribe if you haven't. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out. And so stay tuned for other videos uh, in the future, okay? So for now, I'm going to let you go. So take care, God bless, and remember to always be a blessing and not a burden. So bye for now. Till the next video.